What is James? James is supposedly a human being, also known as Jordan, building in which people live, who grew in extremely minor popularity from early 2015 after his appearance in the video I Hate Christmas by clickbait YouTuber I Hate Everything. My name is James. I don't know me. No! No! Soon he began to appear in videos made by the largely insignificant YouTube channel named Jar Media. James had his own exhausting video series called James Blabs that mainly consisted of I Hate Everything aka Alex, Game of Thrones House, talking about James with James interjecting at random points with disturbing comments such as Anime ones where you have sex with cat girls or whatever. Even now, I'm wearing a shirt that is representing Japanese cars. Mm -hmm. They look good. They look nice. Attractive. The couple of thousand people that watched these videos apparently found him entertaining. Here is co-host Ruban. Worst color. Claiming people like him. Now, James has told me I could beat you at World of Tanks, cunt. I don't really have a response to that, I just wanted to feature him on him because everyone seems to like James. He was such a success that many people thought he represented the J in the channel name, when actually it stood for Jamie Game of Thrones House. The equivalent of the fat and weak chipmunk from those nauseating Alvin and the chipmunk movies whose only talent is being the brother of the lead chipmunk. James was also known for commenting on every other JAR YouTube video with comments that were witty. The old JAR content was similar to the more recent commentary gameplay videos by people like Piracy, <coughs> except they were somehow less entertaining, mostly because it was almost entirely Destiny gameplay. By 2016 James Blabs were a thing of the past, and JAR Media had a new channel where James, Jamie, Ruben and Alex appeared on the unimaginatively named JARcasts. JARcasts, if anything, were worse than the old format, because viewers were forced to stare at three young adults fidgeting on the floor discussing topics such as superhero movies, games and other YouTubers whilst Alex attempted humor by screaming into his mic behind the camera. James, for the most part, sat on the floor chewing on something and saying little of interest. The channel had a minor boost in subscribers when it posted its most popular video IHE taken down by YouTube hashtag free IHE after I hate everything's channel was deleted for a shitty video about Kung Fu Panda or something. Jar Media was, of course, too terrible to gain subscribers from anything other than drama. Their third most popular video is called Smosh Hates Us, for example. In February 2016 disaster struck. The now irrelevant James went on temporary hiatus from JAR Media, much to nobody's dismay. The reasons surrounding his disappearance remain clouded. He tweeted this cryptic message which makes little to no sense, so if you can decipher it please comment below. First his absence appeared to have little impact on the channel's content. So who cares, right? Wrong. 
the channel quickly descended into chaos, largely caused by Alex's declining mental state which may or may not be linked to James. The words pussy and diarrhea were thrown around as if the three of them had regressed to being twelve again. Their obsessed fans claimed it was irony. Even a James replacement called Andrew, with his constant nervous glances at the camera could not subdue the onslaught of scout and vagina related hilarity. The channel remains in this state to this day. Pussy. Whilst diarrhea was going down over on YouTube, the only way James's now shallow fan base could get a hold of some juicy James updates was via his Twitter account. Pre-hiatus it was generally observed that James was a weeb who was into Japanese cars and not much else. His tweets proved that these notions were not ironic, but true. He has a Twitter handle and username that make no sense to anyone apart from a total weeaboo alongside his consistently changing profile pictures of anime slash manga girls. James uses the site to spout his hatred for SJWs, his support for misogynist, Milo Yannabalash, as well as general anime related shit. Just take a look at some of these. Another feature of James is his aptness to get insulted by things, for instance he was triggered when Ruben suggested his relationship with his body pillow was cringy. You said not post Ow. on Twitter. No, I suppose, yeah, Ow. yeah, I suppose, you, you don't make it we don't, public. We don't apart from, when you, apart from when you comment to each other and stuff in comments. It's, it's, it's fucking, like, we don't know, it's fucking ironic, Ruben. What?! Also when he was called uncultured and finally when someone called him a weeb. Despite my research I am no closer to finding the answer of what James really is. I posed the question to Jamie who unhelpfully claimed James was a person. I then attempted to contact Ruben and Alex with the same question but I received no response. Finally, in desperation, I asked James himself who replied with an old, unfunny meme. Soon after this James tweeted that he was returning to the Jarcast. I can only presume this was because he saw the recent poll in which only 36 out of a total 522 people voted for him as the best out of the four and he wanted a comeback before his fans disappeared for good. Does this mean Jar will be saved from the pussy epidemic or will the situation only become worse? In conclusion then, whatever James is, he isn't really that interesting and if you're going to be a fan of anyone on that abysmal channel I recommend it.